Alright, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on the video. Let me check the other video. Alright. Alright, on the right is an IMAX Panther G. It's got four shaft gearboxes, it's got a stock plastic hull, it's got metal tracks. Out here on this tile surface, which is very similar to your hardwood floor, I can lock just one track and make just one track at a time turn. See how it does that? Only the right track is turning. All right, let's go out here. Now this is carpet. This is hard on tanks. It's uh, similar to running on grass, all right? This tank will still do it. I can lock one track and spin the tank. Alright, we're done with that one. I'm gonna put it away. We're gonna flip over to the Yacht Hunter. By the way, it's a stock uh, transmitter on the Panther G and a stock transmitter on the uh, Yag Panther. Okay, now the Yag Panther has the same hull you're talking about. I got it from DKLM. You're talking about getting it from Dominique at RC Tank D. It's this. It's got metal road wheels. It's got metal tracks. It's a great hull. I love it. This one's got brass gearboxes in it, where the other one had four shaft uh, black steel gearboxes in it. That might make a huge difference. This tank on nice smooth surface like this, I can lock one track and make the tank turn around. Okay. And like I said, the gearboxes might be most of the difference here. It is a great haul, and you're going to get a great price on it. The reason I think you're not going to be happy with it is because I don't think it's going to work the way you think it's going to. Now, when I get out here on the carpet with this, I can't do that. See, it goes into super spin. I can't lock just, I can't make just one track turn. It just won't do it. It'll turn, but it's got a huge turning radius. Observe. I can't make that corner. It won't turn enough. It'll super spin, and that's how I have to drive it around the house. If I want to make the right turn, I got to drive forward, spin, proceed on. It just won't. Uh, it just won't do it. It's because the suspension and the gearboxes are so much better. It's uh, all right. Like say, to run a track, you got to have a minimum of twenty units of power going to your right motor to run your right track the, you know you got to apply some power before the track will start spinning um on this on the other gearboxes and the other hull you'd have to apply a decent amount of power to get it to spin like 20 units but on this one everything runs so smooth you only need like one unit of power and you can't your transmitter won't do that it won't make the motors function the way you think they're going to uh, and like I said, that might be the ge brass gearboxes. The uh, steel gearboxes won't fit in this tank because of the hull, the top hull. They will fit in the uh, Panther G. So, you know, I don't know, try it. And if you're lucky, it'll work out exactly like you want to. It's a really great hull, and you might get a really great performing tank out of the deal. But if it acts the same way that it does when you've got brass gearboxes in it, you're not going to like it, dude. You're going to uh, be on the forum. You're going to be talking about this great deal you got on this hull. And two days later, you're going to be on there uh, saying that it don't work. And, you know, on the tile, it's fine. Because, I don't know, it's hard to explain, dude. It's a physics thing. You're a freaking engineer. You ought to be able to fix this or figure this stuff out. All I know is that the, I can't lock one track on surfaces like grass or carpet. I can only make one track lock on this tank on a smooth surface like tile or hardwood floor. It even has a hard time on uh, on cement. I'm even having a hard time on the, there we go, having a hard time on the tile. And I, if you watch closely when it comes around, that track's actually still moving. It's not completely locked. No, now it is.
Anyway, it won't do that on carpet, and I don't think you're going to like that part. But like I said, if you can get the hull for that price, get it and resell it. You'll make enough profit to buy a nice little tank. All right, man. I hope that helped. See you next time.